Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Make It Wednesday. So if you're joining me for the first time, this is the series where I decide what you're gonna have for dinner tonight. Because I think for me, you know, Wednesdays, it's a tough day. I've sort of done Monday, Tuesday. I don't know what I'm cooking tonight. Well, now you do know what you're cooking because I've decided we're gonna make. We are making a really beautiful like curry, Japanese curry sauce soup situation with chewy udon noodles. And we're gonna use chicken mince because it's easy and we'll make an optional little pickle later on. But let's get going on the things. So get all the things heating up. I've got water for my um, eggs that I'm gonna boil later, water for my noodles. I've got my wok heating up. Just gonna add in a little bit of oil there, get that heating. And then we have chicken, which I'm gonna add later. I'm doing chicken mince. You could do pork mince here as well. And then I'm just gonna slice up an onion here. I feel like it's really tricky navigating the supermarket at the moment. Like so many things out of stock. Um, so many things that you wouldn't expect to be expensive, very expensive all of a sudden. So I'm really having to like check the price of things as I'm putting them into my trolley. Um, so which is one of the reasons why this was a good dish for me where I am in my area. I know all over the world it's a little bit different. You might be having shortages of different things in different places. But um, for me, chicken mince was readily available. Uh, I do love to have these packet udon noodles in my cupboard because um, they're shelf stable and I can keep them pretty much indefinitely. So they're a great staple to have. But yeah, it's crazy. What's expensive or what's happening in your area? Let me know. So at the moment here in, um, in Noosa, we have lettuce for sale, heads of lettuce for like $12. <laughs> all right, so I'm just passing up my onion here. So a couple of things we're gonna be using today to make life a little bit easier. One, we're gonna be using our udon noodles, which you can grab straight out of your pantry. Two, we're gonna be using some Japanese curry paste. I love using this stuff. It's so easy, has a great flavor. Um, lots of different brands and different supermarkets. So just grab one that probably is suitable for your family, like a, you know, a mild if you've got kitties around. Um, you can also get more spicier versions. So I'm gonna be using that. All right, get my chicken mince in here as well. Don't forget guys, ask me all the questions you want. If you have some requests for maybe dishes that use specific ingredients that you use a lot at home, please do pop those in the comments. I'd love to know. Because really this series is supposed to be as handy as possible for you guys. <laughs> Actually, I've been really inspired lately. I've been making quite a few of my Make It Wednesday recipes at home, which is good. So you guys inspire me right back. So it's great. Okay, I want to let that chicken sear and just cook through a little bit more. So in the meantime, let's get started on our daikon pickle. So this is an optional extra. You have the time while you're doing the bits and pieces. So I just want some nice fine slices of my daikon. So you can grab daikon from um, most Asian grocery stores. It is a good one to kind of keep in the fridge as well. It, you know, sort of along the same lines of, um, you know, carrots and that sort of thing. You keep quite well, so you can kind of store them for a while. And I think that if you can't get a hold of daikon, what I would do is actually use some carrot, still to get that same kind of crunch, and the carrot will take on a lot of that nice pickle flavor very quickly. So there's a nice substitute for you. So this is gonna be like a little pickle that we serve on the side of our noodle soup. Totally an optional extra. Quick check on our chicken here. Oh, that's got some nice color, that's good. Just use your spatula to break that up. Now one of the questions I get asked a lot about cooking mince is, I'm not getting it so much with this one, but sometimes if you're using pork or beef or turkey mince, you get a lot of liquid that comes out of your mince. And so what I like to do is, is cook it until that juice is kind of evaporated. I think you get a bit more of an intense flavor then. So that's a good little tip for if you're doing mince. But this one is looking really quite good here. So now I'm gonna go in with some stock. Some soy sauce, some mirin, and then our curry roux. It even just smells like Japanese curry. Oh, just let that come to a simmer there. All right, I've got my water for my eggs boiling. I'll just turn that down so they don't crack too much. Okay, two eggs. 
get my timer ready. So, I mean, everyone does boiled eggs differently. Um, I'm a bring the water to the boil kind of person. And then I set the timer for six minutes. That's like a soft boiled egg situation for me. So, eggs in. And then I also like to give the water a swirl so that the yolk of the egg centers into the middle rather than sort of like sitting on the outside. Um, I know really finicky little things, but they all make a little bit of a difference. All right, I'm just giving this a bit of a stir here just to try and help dissolve our curry blocks. All right, back to the pickle. So daikon, sugar, rice vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil. And again, these are all ingredients that I typically have in my pantry. So very easy to kind of make this up once you've sort of got your pantry stocked with some of these things. Um, now, sesame seeds as well. Let's toss that together. It's such an easy thing to do, I think. Even if you did it with the carrot, it would be really nice. Now, have a look at our soup in here. And this is the cool thing about using those curry blocks is that they obviously have a little bit of a thickener in there. And look at that. That already just looks so like wholesome and comforting and lovely and lush. Like it's all shiny and glossy. Oh, that is one really big cheat there. I love that. The water for my noodles looks like it is now boiling. So you get those in there. Okay, this is great. So this is what this is the situation you want to get to. And if you guys are coming back to watch this um, and cook along at dinner time, hopefully you've got your egg, your noodle here your sauce simmering, you've done this, and now we're just gonna slice up some little um, little decorations. Garnishes, I forgot the word for a minute. <laughs> Garnishes. Garnishes. Okay. I think you can decorate a noodle soup. I mean, this is looking pretty delicious right now. Let me get in here and try it. Mm. Oh, that's so yum. <laughs> It's just like one of those, oh, yum, comforting, like, uh, it's almost like that, I don't know, the, ch the the Japanese version of like a comforting chicken soup or something. Mm, that is yum. And with your udon noodles, they don't require very much time in this, this water. You just want to like kind of coax them apart and then rip them straight out so they don't overcook. That's good. Okay, right, we've got timer. It's always so aggressive, that noise. I wish there was like a nice, like, your eggs are ready, your eggs are ready, kind of alarm. <laughs> I need to invent one of those. Anyway, I reckon this is going to be quite a good time, is my prediction. Just a little taste of my, my daikon. Oh, that's good. Yum! The sesame oil, the sesame seeds. It just makes it so interesting, even though it's such a quick, easy thing to put together. All right, let's do this, guys. So, I have... My noodles here. I'm just gonna slice up a little bit of um, seaweed, some nori, which I always seem to have in my pantry as well. And see, this is the thing, like small little things, like adding a little bit of not sliced nori to your noodle soup or something like that. It doesn't take that much time and it's a pantry staple ingredient that you can keep um, that won't go off in your um, pantry. So, you know, these are all nice little added touches that are easy to do. All right. Where's my ladle? There it is, right in front of me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. It's just so thick and glossy and amazing. I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> if you are cooking along with me, I hope you are just as impressed at this point. All right, soup is going on. Now, bits and pieces here. I have a little bit of pickled ginger as well. Just on the side there. My egg. Moment of truth. Looking good. Oh, nice. That is the definition of jammy. Perfect. Okay. A bit of your spring onion there. Some more on the side. And then just a few bean shoots as well. Okay. And I mean, to me, that is like a really exciting Wednesday night dinner. You know what I mean? Like it, it looks cool. Um, it has a flavor that's slightly exotic, you know, a little bit of a Japanese curry vibe. Um, there's a pickle, there's a soft boiled egg. I mean, it's got all the things, people. My goodness. All right. 
Should we get in here? Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> I wish you guys were here eating this with me. Okay, let me get in here. Let me see what's going on. Chewing noodles. Oh yeah, that is so yum. Mm. It's kind of like, you, you get that lovely pickle from the ginger mm. and the chicken and that comforting like gravy sauce is so cool. And then a little bit of pickled daikon. Yum. It's just really, it's exciting, yummy, comforting, all the things. So there you go guys. That's my Make It Wednesday for today. I hope you loved it. If you were cooking along with me, I hope yours looks just as delicious as mine does and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, if you wanna know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you.